like a baby. It smells like fragrance or something. Where else would have the better Indian food than in Little India? We're actually in Little India right now in Singapore, you guys, and got recommended this restaurant. Thinking this mutton seek. I'm not so sure. Is this S E E K H kebab? As touted by Lonely Planet as a melt in the mouth mutton kebab. Yeah, and since it's a Bismillah biryani restaurant, we're gonna go for biryani for sure. They have this choices of chicken biryani, kid goat biryani, lamb shank biryani, lamb chops biryani, crayfish biryani, vegetable biryani. Oh, they have the the star here. Star means. Highly recommended. Kid goat biryani. Is that like somehow like small little goat? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so guys, we actually was gonna order like two items, but then um, yeah, the, the other item like the melt in your mouth, mutton cheek seek kebab. They said it's not ready yet for now. This one, let's try. We got like this kid goat, kid goat, like baby goat. So this, this said if you love meat, then this gonna like kind of impress you a lot. You're gonna love it because it's tender. Ah, the meat, then yogurt. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like veal lamb. With the sauce? Biryani comes with a bowl of raita. Raita? The yogurt sauce. Not bad. We literally like the first customer that walk in and wait until they open. And since the restaurant opened, people like keep coming all the time. Not not that busy, but they keep coming with this. It's just open, you know. Mm. Oh. With the yoga sauce, this is really good. Gotta be good. Little India, Indian restaurant. Indians coming in and buy it. The chef is Indian. It can't go wrong. Oh, look at that. I love that part. You want some fat? There's more fat. Yeah, in a minute I will. Ha. Huh. See, one bite, one more customer. Tender. <laughs> Like a baby. Yeah, super soft. Yeah, so <laughs> I was almost gonna walk out of the restaurant, but then I forgot. I ordered this little thing. Oh, yeah. Called coffee. It's, it's coffee. Coffee. Ah. Oh, okay. There it goes. Pop. Oh, thank you. A dessert. Indian dessert. Must try, must try. Must try. <laughs> it's a diary, like frozen diary. In, oh, I think that's pistachio right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me like have a bite before. Okay. Uh. Super cool. Mm. It smells like fragrance or something, right? Like when you go into the temple and then you smell this. What, what, what's the smell? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It smells like when you go into the Indian temple and, you know? <laughs> like the incense? Not the incense, rose water. Oh, yeah, 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 rose water. Oh, okay, okay, I know now what it is now. It's a rose water. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, it's rose, rose. Okay. Now it's like... 
I thought you know what it is. Mm, wow. Right? I barely smell it, like you said. Good. Have another bite, then you feel like um, it's creamy, it's pistachio y. Light rosemary, uh, rose flavor. Uh huh. But the pistachio, too. Not bad. So, guys, turn out, I really like this dessert. And I actually like the restaurant and the food here also. Bismillah Briyani restaurant. Right in little India. This is like. Hi. Um, I haven't tried the lassi yet. It's like a sour mango yogurt. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's sour. That's all it is. A little bit sour. Mm. Just like that. I mm. think it's like goat milk maybe or something. That's what it reminds me of. It doesn't remind me of cow milk. Oh, okay. So this, two fifty Singaporean dollar. That, four Singaporean dollars. And the biryani, like that regular size that we had, $15. But it depends, like the price depends on the meat that you order. I really like biryani, actually it, it, it doesn't taste too strong for me because some of the restaurant is like really like, how to say, too much spices. The fact that they cook the rice like so perfectly and the rice is like Indian rice with that three color. Also, it's long grain. We got recommended uh, this place by the local, so yeah, I think it's like really good. But it's it's pretty much like restaurant kind of meal, not really like street food or food center that we've been eating. If you ever in Singapore and if you ever pass by in Little India, good food around here. And this place totally a must to come visit. I like everything that we just had today. I wish they would have. That thing, uh, mutton seek kebab, because I really, really want to try. It's melt in your mouth kind of thing. But yeah, guys, this is good enough for the breakfast, and we're totally ready for the day now. We're gonna see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the official channel.